Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I wanted to make a quick video to show people how to do a water titration for Vivants because it's really simple uh, and yet unless I miss something I couldn't find a video on YouTube so I figured I'd make it myself. Now before I go any further uh, I just want to point out that I'm not a medical doctor, not a medical professional even, uh, so this is just a patient information video. Do not rely upon this video for diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. Uh, but uh, this is basically, so th what I would say about this, what I'm going to show you to, to do this water titration is, this may seem a bit hacky, um, but it's actually, this is what my doctor told me to do. And this is actually uh, the Vivant's official website talks about uh, pouring Vivant's into water or orange juice. So it's not really like an unofficial thing. So I don't think you need to really worry about it. Um, I'm just going to show you the medications. So this was kind of my self-treatment, uh, self-medication for about the last six months and just got to the point where I can't uh, take this stuff anymore. Caffeine tablets. Uh, it works kind of if you have ADHD, it's a stimulant, but uh, pretty brutal on your stomach, pretty brutal on your mental health. Uh, so I won't be sorry to leave it behind. This is what I tried first. Uh, and I just find that the come down on these was pretty intense. So I should, I should point out that I'm based in Israel. So all that's why there's a combination of Hebrew um, and English on these medications, but this is kind of what we have here. This one is, I'm trying to get this guy to focus here for the camera. This is uh, Phenidin, which is basically uh, 36 milligrams of Concerta, prolonged release tablets. Uh, the type you have here in Israel, they look like this. They're just kind of circular tablets that you can't break because they're delayed release. And this is what I am trying now. I've just started today, in fact. So this is Vivance. Uh, 30 milligrams and you can see the Hebrew and the Arabic there as well and actually looks like Russian too. So um, the reason I'm doing this water titration is because I'm starting on only 20 milligrams and the smallest dosage we have in Israel according to what my doctor told me and according to what I can find online is 30. So in order to do 20 um, I need to take two thirds of a capsule and I'll show you the way the way I do that. So this, there's actually 10 milligrams of Vivance here because what I did was I poured in, I poured in a tablet um, and then I uh, consumed until 170 milliliters. So basically what you want to do is you want to go up to um, a number of milliliters on the water. So this, this is, by the way, this is just a little battery powered uh, blending thing I got from AliExpress. And you can actually see the medication is in there in suspension. So there's 10 milligrams of medication, give or take here. So what I'm gonna do is, is the following. I'm going to, I'm gonna try to get this on camera as best as I can. I'm going to actually break open a capsule and put it in. Now, if you read these guides online about how to do this, they kind of make a big song and dance about getting everything out of the capsule and all this. Uh, to be honest, I haven't found it difficult. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing, so let me just explain firstly how to calculate this in case it's not obvious. So this is 30 milligrams of Vivance. There's 10 milligrams here. I prepared this this morning. So I, from what I've read on the internet, it's totally fine to leave this in the fridge for a few days. The medication will remain stable. Worth pointing out, by the way, that the medication is in solution. And fortunately, I was able to remember a few things from high school chemistry back in Ireland and the difference between a suspension and a solution. So it's not soluble, it doesn't dissolve, but you can see it stays in suspension. And what you wanna do is shake it up before you consume it. I think having an electronic thing makes it so much easier. And the idea there is that that'll disperse the medication equally. So what I'm gonna do is as follows. Okay, so I'm gonna go take my uh, water bottle and I'm just gonna empty out the medication. Now I'm just going to try and move my tripod in a small bit to show you guys what I'm doing here, but it's not rocket science. Uh, I'm essentially just squeezing out everything in the tablet and then I'm just doing a visual inspection inside the capsule to make sure there is either nothing or almost nothing left. There's a tiny bit and I'm just checking again that that's totally empty and then let's see this the orange and for what I've seen this are these orange and white capsules are pretty standard in the US as well uh, so I guess they're international then you know just check inside to make sure the medication's actually gotten into the water and it has there's none clinging to the inside so now we have 40 milligrams of Vivance here and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dilute this to 400 uh, milliliters 400 400 400 400 there we go and that's basically all there is now here's what I'm going to do Tomorrow, I'm going to just shake it up. 
I'm going to put a lid on it. And tomorrow morning, I'm going to drink very carefully from 400 to 200. Uh, I'm going to, what I did this morning was I just drunk it. Uh, you know, if you want to be extra, extra careful and you're going to keep this in the fridge for a couple of days, it's probably best not to drink from the bottle and to pour into a, uh, into a cup. So what I would do is just pour out uh, 200 milliliters of this. So shake first to make sure the suspension is equally distributed. Then very quickly while that's going on, pour out 200 milliliters. And if the Vivance, the 40 milligrams of Vivance is equally distributed through this 400 milliliters of water, then by logic, 200 milliliters should contain half of that Vivance exactly, which will be 20 milligrams. And that's basically how you do it. So this is apparently can be used for tapering for other drugs uh, that are uh, that are uh, come in a powder. Obviously, if it's a enteric coated tablet, this will not work. Uh, but if you are using a powder based medication, apparently this is a really useful thing to know how to do uh, if you want to like taper off the drug or whatnot. So 40 milligrams, I could also, so if I drunk 100, 100 milliliters of this liquid, uh, that would be consuming 10 milligrams, 20 milligrams, 30 milligrams, 40 milligrams of Vyvanse. So that is how to do, and I'd imagine if you're looking to slowly taper off the drug, this would also be very useful if you want to go down, reduce your consumption by a small amount. The idea behind a water titration is essentially that it's easier to be uh, exact in either increasing, decreasing, or splitting dosages when you're uh, dissolving a drug into water than if you were going to try to, I mean, you could try to pour out the capsule into a, you know, a micro scale, a 0 0.001 gram micro scale, but it would just be a lot more difficult to be accurate. So that's the kind of reason that this is used. So I hope that was of help to somebody and uh, good luck.